Tuesday and today is the day that we start our big adventure to Point Peron because we got blue sky! We got blue sky and red cliffs baby! <laughs> Um, we've just decided though, because we haven't had a full solid day at the resort without it either raining or without us arriving or departing, um, that we thought we would actually just do one night at Point Peron. That should be plenty for us to have a, a bit of a drive around, get some nice footage, maybe have a, a swim, a kayak. We're not sure what we're going to do. As I miss out on a cruise, so everything's about a compromise. Compromise about everything. So I got my way on all of it. Yeah, so um, there's never a compromise on my behalf. I just do as I'm told. He's happy to do that. I think he realised that two nights in the in the red dust could be too many. So no, I never thought that at all. We'll never have all. a good adventure We've regardless. We've enough <laughs> for five nights out here, and we're staying for one now. So we shouldn't run out of anything. The only problem we may have is with the storm last night. Mm. It could work to our advantage, making that soft sand a bit firmer. Uh, but they did warn us with the rain, the salt flats that you've got to go through can become quite slippery and boggy. So I think we're out for a big adventure. I think we are too. And I think, you know what, I'm going to need a shower by tomorrow. So it was good. We, we packed a lot less because we're not staying for the two nights. Because otherwise you need dishwashing stuff and you need all of the, your, your towels and you need to somehow try and have a shower and blah, blah, blah. So you need four chairs for some reason. Good decision. To match her nine pairs of thongs. <laughs> but I only bought four. Um, so that's what we're off to right now is we're going to hit the red dirt. Hopefully we don't get bogged, but we probably will. And it's all part of the adventure. Exactly. Take you with us. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Get busy living. As we're on our way out, this is a map that we got from the very cool information centre yesterday. And it just shows you Monkey Mire here. So we are currently just driving all the way down to this turn off here. Uh, there is an entry pay station there, um, but we do have our annual parks pass, so we should be all right uh, in regards to that. So we just have to pay for one night uh, accommodation somewhere up here. So yeah, this is the big trek that we're going to be attempting to do. If we can, I want to get that to Bottle Bay camping. That's where our aim is, is it? Yeah. All right. I don't care where we camp. All I want, make sure that we go to Skip Jack Point because apparently there is stunning views there of sharks and uh, dolphins and whatever else, stingrays, etc. Yes. So here's the, here are the fees. The camping. $15 per adult. <laughs> You should uh, drop it further. So we've just used our eye check tire deflators, um, but they're set at 20, and we're thinking, oh. The sign just said then 15, or you will get bogged. I think it's probably best that we take advice from them. I think they know what they're talking about. So we'll make another adjustment. It only takes seconds. These things are super quick. Do you need my glasses, dear? Yes, sure. yes, please. <laughs> Far out. What's handy also at the entry of Point Peron where you deflate your tyres is it has an inflator air pressure um, thingy here. So that's super handy. So that's very handy. That's probably the end of any of the facilities in this area. <sighs> we should get started soon. in the road and the corrugations are here but when your tires are when your tire pressures are low um <laughs> you just glide over them <laughs> oh yeah glide <laughs> <laughs> well maybe not glide but yeah so far having fun let's hope nothing happens So, now that we've hit a little bit of a flat spot, I'm going to do some driving.
switching driver because I made a mess of the car. You're scared. Why aren't you driving? No, I'm not scared. I figure you're scared with me driving. Well, you you're know a you are. Heavy footed. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh man! Wow! <laughs> South Gregory's. The first of the campsites that we will be visiting. So we've hit the rough part. <laughs> you can picture this though, uh, when it's not after rain, this and the sun's been baking it, this gets really soft. So I think we're very fortunate at the moment that it's compressed it. <laughs> so we're just arriving at Gregory's, which is the next campsite along. This looks beautiful and there's not many people staying. So while we're also just having a look at the bay, we're checking out to see which campsite is going to be best for us in our swag tonight. Oh, here. This looks lovely. Look at the view. Oh. Not a bad view if you're stopping for lunch. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Apart from them. will be our exploring day we'll set up jump back in the car have an explore up to the top tomorrow we're going to relax here and kayak and enjoy our campsite before leaving probably about 12 o'clock and just like that we're set up it's not ideal, I mean we're not really set up for camping out in the back of the car, so it's working though. Happy enough. Yeah. That's probably as good as it's going to get there. But anyway, with this view and some tandoori chicken, I'm bloody stoked. And here we are at Skipjack Point. There's your contrast in colours. Skipjack point. Oh, and I've got reception. Look at that. Lots of bait fish in there. There's thousands of them. Oh, I can actually see that for once. Look at the colour contrast. There's a fish down here. Yeah, what are they? They must be salmon, like you said. Is that a <gasps> dolphin? This is gorgeous here.
Well, that is Skipjack Point. The only thing disappointing about Skipjack Point is the GoPro doesn't pick any of it up. <laughs> we've, reached, we've reached the very tip called Cape Peron. Another stunning rusty red landscape with sparkly blue water. So this is us. Gonna pour a glass of wine. Awnings up. So we probably haven't done this the right way around going and seeing all the gorgeous little sharks and reef sharks and whatever sort of sharks they were chasing the turtles and the fish before you go and have an afternoon swim so old mate not coming he's not coming in um it is still nice and clear and i'm only going super shallow but it's just so refreshing you can't not so you know when you're in a place where the water is blue the sand is white and the cliffs are red mate i'm in enjoying the last moments of sunset before we embark on a new adventure one that we have never tried before and that is pre-packaged camping meals where you just add the hot water and instantly you get spaghetti bolognese or chicken tikka masala or something like that so that's our next adventure let's see if we survive those just getting the lights set up on the 30 second awning
road sign is when that is actually inside the swag. Sure as. In our defense, we went to bed early. Well, we used the swag early because we were getting on the laptop for our entertainment last night just to have a look at some footage and things like that. So we couldn't sit outside because we didn't have the power or the light or the comfort. So <laughs> we went into the swag and took the bottle of red with us. Do what you got to do. Well, on a stunning day like today, and we've got all morning here at our camp, it's kayak time. We're going to head over to the sandbar there and just see what we can see. And Adam's bringing the rod. Don't, I'm not catching anything. I'm mm -hmm. just bringing it because I got it. Mm -hmm. Not expecting any fish. No, we keep our expectations very low when it comes to fishing. All right, toilet. it. Oh, beached again. Come on, waves. Oh, good at this, aren't I you? <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> That's impressive. What about that? It's quite the catch. Like yeah, can I say that? Quite the catch. Adam just saw a shovel no shark where it just turns a little darker green. That is an absolute baby. He's trying to get some more coral, I guess. And unfortunately, just like that, we're all packed up, kayaks on the roof, we have to say goodbye to this view. <sighs> of our 
Cape Peron adventure. We had an absolute blast. We saw a whole stack of amazing things and just had a really great time swagging it in the red dirt. So we're gonna head to town, probably wash the car uh, to get the salt off if we can. <laughs> and, oh! and just enjoy a few more of these bumps before we head home. So We've only got 50 k's of this. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a lot softer than it was coming in yesterday because um, <laughs> because of the rain. The rain really helped us coming in. But this is what happens <laughs> when it gets a bit chewed up from a lot of cars coming in and out. And obviously it's now dry. So we now have soft, boggy, bouncy sand. <sighs> and we might book a chiropractor appointment. meals for tonight we thought we would try some camping freeze-dried meals that we bought from dwelling up quite a while ago and thought why not we give it a go now all it needs is the bag and your kettle and you pour the hot water into here and voila you have a nutritious meal so tonight we're having Moroccan lamb and chicken tikka masala chicken tikka masala let's see how this goes, excuse the headlamp, but that is a yummy dinner for tonight. And if it doesn't work, I'm having bourbon. I'm having bourbon anyway, but still. Jen does not like moths. She is not an outdoor camper. She is completely Look. out of her element. Oh, floppy things. <laughs> if you put the nice pretty lights on, you get the floppy things. So darkness for me. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I can't take it. Right, she's into the bourbon. The um, Moroccan, Moroccan lamb. lamb. Open her up. This is dinner. We've got to get rid of any sachets that are in there. Ooh, I can't out, see any sachets. Can you see any sachets? I cannot see any sachets. She smells really good. So let's go. K2 mark. Oops. Oh, you're in. Stop there. Okay, that'll do ya. And then what do we do? We zip him up, mate. And we don't we stir it first? Oh, just zip him up for now. It does say stir thoroughly. Oopsie. Best we do that. Alright. Okay, we've stirred, we've squeezed, and that's gonna sit for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Rock and lamb. Alright, do the same Here with this one, go. I assume. And repeat, chicken tikka masala. Yummy. Yeah, what's it say? We'll see how these go. We're not too sure <laughs> how they're gonna go. We're hoping that they go really well. They're, you know, they're not they're not cheap, but they're, they're very a they're very convenient though. Like if you just you know, like I call it survival food. Um anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm out. We're gonna <laughs> I'm Jen, out. Jen's gone. There. Jen's gone. There's too much light on here. The There's moths and uh, all sorts of stuff here. So she's gone. She's going to go sit in the dark with the spiders and the snakes. I don't care. Yes, it is. And this is. It smells actually really good. It's a, a little watery. That might be our fault. No well, I guarantee it's our fault. No judge on the product. Chicken tikka masala. Just 
Instructions on our forte. There you have it. <laughs> I want. Well, we'll give a we'll give an honest review. Well, I need you to give it a taste right now. Back country. One of each. Oh, look at that big ant. Yeah, I can see that. Thank you. Well, that's not bad. Moroccan lamb. Moroccan lamb soup. <laughs> They're very hot, which I is bet. good. I bet they are, yeah, which is amazing. Well, not bad, but the lamb... The, na the lamb's a bit tough. Oh, okay. Can I have the chicken tikka masala? No. It's not bad though. Like it, I think it. Maybe tastes, it needs more time. It tastes like Let's zippy up the bag there. again. It probably needs more time. Okay. Well, they're about nineteen dollars a pouch, <laughs> so still cheaper than a restaurant meal, but certainly not cheaper than what you could do yourself. This is good stuff. Don't forget we're sharing. Oh, are we? What am I sharing? Both meals. Oh. <laughs> All right. Gotta eat. Laters.